This video is going to give you a quick and dirty overview of how to use preview to do some basic adjustments to images. For a lot of more complicated work, we'll be using Photoshop. I mean, if you really need to make significant changes, Photoshop is definitely going to be better. But for really small things like changing the image size or maybe changing, um, adding, a, adding text or even a, a very simple graphic, you can do it perfectly well using Preview, which is an application that ships with all Macs and it's free. So here um, at the bottom, I can see Preview is down here on the dock. I've added it there. And um, again, if you need to add something that isn't automatically on the dock, you can actually do it um, once it's open. And see, I can see here, I, by clicking on it, I've opened it. By going in, right-clicking on it, going to Options, and changing it, the option to keep in dock. Now, I want to look at the portfolio photos that we took last class. So I've downloaded them, put them all in the same folder, and I want to look at them all at the same time. So I'm just going to, I can select them all. So just drag to highlight everything, or I could click on the first one and shift click on the top one. And then because preview is the default application specified to open JPEGs, which is what all these files are, uh, then just go Commando. It's going to open them and it is going to open them all in preview. When you open multiple images at once, uh, you can see it gives you a thumbnail film strip at the side so you can kind of scroll through and see them. This is the sidebar options over here. And in addition, if you want to see them all kind of laid out like a contact sheet, go to the contact sheet option and here you go. You can see all of the individual photos at the same time. You can't print this. But um, if you wanted, you could do a screen grab and then you would have all the images kind of laid out here. Now, some of them are maybe a little bit, the figures maybe a little bit smaller than I would like. There are only actually a couple of them that look like they've already been resized so that what we have is either a head and shoulders shot or maybe just a, a head shot. And those ones, you know, they would be fine like this, but some of the other ones, they don't really kind of give you an idea of who the person in the shot is just in the at the thumbnail size. So I'm going to skip back to uh, thumbnail view, uh, sorry, regular view. And I can see someone's already been at work with Photoshop here. And if we go down, you can, you can look at each of the in images individually. You can also just kind of go through them by using the arrow keys on the keyboard or if you want a slideshow, just go to slideshow. And then it will play them all one after the other. And here you can use the arrow keys as well. So just press play. It's probably going to go a little bit too slowly for me. So I am going to probably either just click here. Oh, and that's the end. So we have to go backwards. Or what I usually do, use the arrow keys to go from one to the other. Okay, uh, escape. Oh, no, escape doesn't work here. Works most places. Uh, click on the X and you exit, and then you're back to this view of the images. Now, I want to show you how to access the basic tools. Um, I'm going to assume that you're just going to have one image at a, a time open for today. So I'm going to go to hide sidebar. And when you open an individual image, this is what you're going to see. To zoom out, click here. To zoom in, click here. So sometimes you want to see something in detail. Maybe not always, but sometimes. And zooming in will do that. You notice when you zoom in too far, uh, you start seeing um, the little squares the image is made up of. We'll talk about these more. These are pixels. And they're the basis for any kind of digital imaging. So command negative is the hotkey in most programs to just min zoom out. And that's what I use to kind of go back to this full screen view. 
Okay, so uh, the next option here is to share the file. So if you're sending it somewhere else, this is what you would pick. So if you're gonna email it, message it, whatever, that would be what you would use. Um, for us, it's more likely that you're going to use file, uh, duplicate, and say, or and then save it, or just save it if you want to replace the original. It's not a bad idea to always keep your original because you might have multiple uses for it. And if you make changes, then uh, you can always get back to what it was originally and undo anything that or start from scratch again. Okay, so here. Um, this is uh, a highlighter. It's really more um, more aimed for PDFs. And again, preview is the default PDF viewer. So you can't take that highlighter and use it on an image file. The next one, pretty straightforward. It just rotates the image. And uh, the next one is actually really where we where we will go to do most of our work. It's the toolkit. So click here, it opens up Toolkit, and we just want to do some really basic stuff with these images. This actually looks pretty good as it is for a profile picture because it was either taken using the square option in the camera or it was cropped and resized after it was taken. Um, now here, say I want something, let's just say I want something a little bit smaller yet, um, I might go to the selection tools uh, there's the rectangular select selection tool, elliptical, etc. I'm just going to go rectangular and I'm just going to create a little box around just the face. Okay, so here I've got a selection outline. I can edit it by clicking on the corners or these dots in the middle and, and resize it. And what I want to do is use the selection outline to crop the image. So here, go to Tools, go to Crop, and you see Command-K is actually the key command for that. So crop, cropped it to the size of the selection outline. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. Now some of the images you've taken are also pretty big. And uh, to resize that, um, you can remember you can just mouse over any of these things and see what's going on. Adjust size. This is what we want to use here. So what you should remember is cropping something that is removing part of the image is different from changing the size. Whoops. And um, yes, I should remember that not all key commands for undo work the same in all programs. So here, um, I'm back to my cropped image, and to redo that, I just went to the Edit menu up here, and you can see you have multiple undos here. So here, um, I've got the cropped image. I wanna check on the image size. Just go here, and it's, it's big. Um, remember how small that profile picture is? I think it could be um, a little bit smaller. If I was super careful, I might've made sure when I was cropping it that it was in a exact square. I didn't. I don't think that's really an issue here, but um, I, I can make it a little bit smaller. So here there's some presets, uh, some fairly standard uh, proportional image sizes for the web. This would be for smaller graphics, smaller graphics, uh, kind of medium-sized graphics, medium-sized graphics, large graphic, large graphic, large graphic. And those numbers are all pixel dimensions. Pixels are the measurement unit used on a screen. If you're working in HD video, you're working with pixels. If you're working with image files, you're working with pixels. If you're creating graphics from scratch, eventually you're gonna be working with pixels. And that is how all images are displayed with pixels. So here I'm just gonna do a custom adjust. I do not want to use this to change my image to a square because if I do, that's gonna distort it. So I'm gonna make sure this lock stays in place, it means that if I change one number, either the width or the height, it will change the other, and just type in a new number. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with something that's a lot smaller, but still, you know, a fairly big image. Big for profile picture, not big in overall terms. So here I've typed in 600, so that will give me a 600 by 540 image. I can see here that it's changing the size by 36.3%, and the file size is dropping considerably. So it was 404 kilobytes, and now it is 89 kilobytes. We'll go over um, what these, this unit uh, measurement means exactly, but for now, um, just think of kilobytes as being one of the smaller units of measurement you would use. For example, all your text files, usually if there's no graphics or images added, they're going to be measured in kilobytes. Larger image files will be measured usually in megabytes. And video files, which can be incredibly large compared to image files, can be measured in megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. And we'll go over what each of those means later on. So here, resample means I'm throwing away some of my information. Scale proportionally means I'm not distorting it. Click OK, and I get a, a somewhat smaller image that is still going to work perfectly well as a profile picture. Now, if I wanted to add anything else, uh, for example, this, uh, adjust color. Um, this actually doesn't look too bad, but if it was under underexposed, and by underexposed, that means it's too dark. I could lighten it up here with levels. So exposure is what I would be adjusting. Or if it's too bright, I could darken it with exposure too. So what I've done is um, cropped the image. So gotten rid of the part of the image I didn't want. And I have reduced its size, which makes it smaller. And both in terms of its uh, the number of the amount of space it takes up on screen and smaller in terms of the number of, of the file size. So I've got my profile picture reduced in size and cropped the way I want it. So now I can either go um, save, and if I do that, it will replace the original image. If I want to save a copy of it and keep the original image, go to duplicate, opens it up in a new window, and now if I go command S, going to save it. As part of this process, I'm also going to rename it. Um, so I'm just going to call it uh, Profile01. You could probably rename it with your name though. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder for it. So click here. Um, I'm just going to do it on the desktop, new folder. I'm going to call it uh, Profile Resized. Names are usually better if they reflect what's in it. So these are profile pictures resize, profile 01, JPEG. I hate the way um, this software wants to hide extensions. I want to see it to JPEG and not a PNG or a TIFF. So unclick that, profile resized. This is the amount of compression. Now, the unfortunate thing here is it doesn't really show you um, a preview of what that compression is doing to your image. I'm just going to slide it to best. Well, actually, that's maybe a little bit too big now. So I'm going to do it to the second kind of option here. In um, programs like Photoshop, they tell you how much compression you're getting and give you a preview of that. And usually the compression you for JPEGs usually goes on a scale of 1 to 10 or 0 or 1 to 100. So basically the same, just a different different way of looking at it. So here I would go save, and now that's in the folder. Since I have more than one image open here, I would go to the next thumbnail. And I think there was one with a little bit of backlighting here. Let's go to that one and make the adjustment as well. So here I would click on this. Now again, backlighting is when the light's behind you, so uh, the subject actually winds up being in shadow. So here for this one, this one looks like it's already been resized, but if we go to, uh, and cropped, if we go to the resize button, yeah, it's actually, this is perfectly fine. Probably could get, be a little bit smaller, but it's okay the way it is. 
And if I wanted to lighten it up a little bit, go to adjust color. And here I might just lighten up the midtones a little bit. And kind of shorten the range of, um, of scale here. So this is what it looks like after adjust adjustment. And I just use this levels graph here. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after the adjustment. So it just makes it a little bit clearer. Okay, so uh, that's good. And then the final thing, either duplicate it or save. I'm going to duplicate it and then save this. This is going to be profile two. 